The time is 7 a.m. in this quiet village of Homer Bay County. Nyaramba and her children are ready for the day. She's a bit late for the planting season but goes ahead to prepare her seeds for planting. Her neighbors paid her an early morning visit and helps out in the preparation of seeds. Schools are closed and the children are home helping out with chores. The eldest girl has gone to the river to fetch some water. Nyaramba goes ahead to delegate duties to the younger ones. The little girl will be washing the utensils while the boy will be taking care of their boots. She yells at the little boy for washing his face on the utensils. He then proceeds to get the goats out of the shed, while his sister proceeds to wash the utensils. Nyaramba knows she has a long day ahead, and if she doesn't delegate the duties, she will have a lot of work to do when she returns. In the African society, it's very normal for children to help with the chores. And they never complain because everybody knows their duty. In most cases, they don't need to be reminded of what to do. Each one knows what is expected of them. There are chores that are specifically for the boys and those that are left for the girls, which are usually lighter. With every child engaged, Nyaramba's house is in order. She sets out to her own workplace. She says she feels very tired today. But there are only a few days left to the market day, so she has no choice but to go and work. The road to the river where they get their raw material is long, tiring, and dangerous, so they never go alone. She passes through homes of other potters to pick them so they can go together. She finds Nyakano cleaning hired, but she quickly abandons what she's doing and prepares her tools for the long journey. Nobody wants to walk this journey alone. In the nearby farms, the men are plowing, getting their farms ready for planting. They gather their tools, and Nyakano reminds Nyaramba to pick a tool they had left in some home. She also goes ahead to delegate duties to her daughter who will be taking care of her little sister, preparing food for their supper, and also taking care of the home. Nyaramba shares a beautiful dream she had of their colleague having a baby boy. They seem very happy for their colleague, and they agree to visit her when they return. Their return is not guaranteed, but they bid goodbye to their children and promise to come back home. As they make their way through the village roads, Nyakano reminds Nyaramba to fetch the tool they so badly need. As Nyaramba runs off to fetch the tool, she shouts Min Mami's name so she can join them. Shouting is a way of communicating so that guys are prepared and no time is wasted. And for sure, by the time she gets to Min Mami's place, Min Mami is ready and they continue with the journey. With their tools in their hands and the heavy ones on their heads, they make their way through the village paths as they pick others on their journey to the river. They enjoy some village gossip as they tear through the bushes, occasionally stopping when the story is too sweet. They even forget they are in a hurry. In a normal village life, one must stop to greet neighbors whenever you pass by their homes. 
And that's exactly what the women are doing. Nyaramba soon catches up with them as they reach the home of Nyandingo, who is also one of them. Nyandingo insists she's not leaving the house without a word of prayer. They all stop for the word of prayer and then proceed. There are many porters in this village, but today the four of them will be going together. The rest have other commitments, but they say the more the merrier or the more the safer since they are walking dangerous roads and more danger lies ahead. Because of the nature of their journey and their destination, <laughs> long, thorny, stony and bushy, they prefer to refer to it as a tour. One of them is on phone and she's reminded to hurry up because nobody wants to be left behind. People must move together because of the danger ahead. One of the dangers is this section here where sand is harvested and we have all kinds of men. You don't know who you're meeting, you don't know who is harvesting sand today. And as a woman, tired and helpless after this hard work and the long distance walk, you don't want to imagine what could happen to you. But this is not what scares them the most. The worst is yet to come. At this point, there's totally no civilization, no defined roads, no homes. You don't meet anyone. But they still brave it. Because food has to be on the table. Children have to go to school. And they have to leave. After walking many miles through the bushes, the rivers, the hills, the valleys, they finally make it to their destination. This is where they source raw material for their pots. And it doesn't come easy. It's like going into a mine. And the best clay is deep inside the mine. They literally crawl into the mine, which has been excavated for years and is at the verge of collapse. The roots of trees hang loosely in the mine, meaning all the soil that was holding them up has been excavated, and the thin layer that's still holding them up there can give it any time. These women do not have any modern tools. They have improvised tools to use in the mines and in the making of their pots. Because the work in there is very hard and dangerous, they take turns in digging up the clay. Today is Nyakano's turn, and she will be digging up clay for everyone. While she digs, the rest are lined up to receive the clay that she has dug, and they will be handing it over to the next person until it's all out. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm in here but my heart is beating so fast. I'm so scared, but I had to do this. These are the bravest women I've ever met in my life. I asked Nekano if she's scared of being in here, and she says all she does is pray. I always ask God to go before me because this is how I put food on the table, she says. Then she gathers her courage and crawls in. Don't Eh. 
Finally, they have enough clay for today's modeling. The bags you see are clay that they've packed to take home because they like to do their modeling at home. Nyandingo and Nyakano slowly crawl out to join the others in needy. These women all didn't go to learn pottery in any school. They got married in this village and found their mothers-in-law doing pottery, and that's how they all learned. Now their mother-in-laws are old, and they took over the family businesses, feeding and sustaining the extended families. <laughs> kneading of the clay is not very easy. They compare it to kneading your ordinary wheat flour but with the less water. So it feels like kneading a really tough dough. Today we are working from the river bank, but on an ordinary day, they would prefer to carry the clay home and uh, do their pottery from home while they watch the kids. The clay is heavy, but they have no choice because leaving their pots here means they could be rained on or they could get exposed to the sun. Uh, the pot is supposed to be drying under controlled uh, temperatures, which means it should be drying in a shaded area for about three or four days before it's thrown into an oven. <laughs> the clay is well kneaded and ready for the pottery work. And today I just learned that uh, clay is mixed with a bit of sand before doing the pottery. And now they've settled down to start making the pots the base of the pot is put on a broken piece of old pot and that's what they spin as they model the pot in whatever kind of pot they want to make they roll the clay into spirals which they use to add onto the ready created uh, base until they finally have a complete pot Handing up, I
Wadiye magu madog nigi dogigi, mangi dogigi, what did loss of winnicage, it did you suga, yell did the ringo, mago matin of him. Madito go mawacho go mago da pi, near the pimodo. Oh, mag pimodo, one yaku to mando a seal, one yaku to mando pare, macaondo pare, catamacaondo pa de, and which we kill it a kill. That would be more to Jacuzzi, who no can well also own bank. Mammy naked as a matin matin, bungo. Okay, I see you keep on sealing the mortar near the bone. Mago be one man of white tweet in the water. Call Margaret to my two. A good to eat lion, my red. A good matin of man with a moot giggy, maga lot, catamar noy. Crogi pogori. Momote a gulu pogori manes of rea. You meet to me. A mummy or you are a much wiggy. Call up with them what they are giving you a go, Emma put one boy you are. Mond why you cast up and at a mac bad room, you watch you more, Emma put a not ammo. A gurney, eh? Oh, what you eh? What the yaura? To walk on your low, cause you on your low. Take our low, need a godala. Is that a godadala? Take a kiru, your lepin, you do it, you do it, do e mede go mundo bedo mutegno ma koro okomu ji ki ko ko le ji ku yo ma bel to sama wang e wang to muji koro ki se chue ti we ya we ya ot mo to ok e ki se chue ti we ya ot ka kin pinyiru to ti gi mo chue mi du ngoni tago ko ri go le tago to ko mo chi ko pinja ti gi mo mo chalo ma bati ni chue re go ma bel ka te chake ku ge gi mo du ngoni ko ba ko ri u me u ma ot ka nyo tuo ko ro ko se tuo ka ka gi mo ba nda la de kama ti wakoro wa wa e wang se tuo makuru wadwa wange ni tiri gi ngoro mu rongo ni warude ndo mi an kore kule mu awe warude mu bed maleny mabe kuru kwa se tereke ki se rude tu koro tu wo tu tereke ndo to sa makuru wange cha iketo yen ping e sambro wolu ko kanyu ni sambro e pebe yen ping mabe ni ki se pebe yen ping mabe ti kaugi Tilo ge bi yen no, icha ke kise keto ge bi yen, icha ki u me kendo ge yen. Kise u me ge yen, koke biru kodi lum, icha ki basi kodi lum mi u me godo. Allah fi moke, kise moke to bang se share, ochiye. Kose chiye to wandi gi moro bende, nu ase iko. Iye ya gua moro kanyo lungo ni oruwech. Mwa chua de godo mundo mi ubed mu tegu, magu le rete ing rete ing, madu ngodu ngono. Mani lungo ni orwe. Koro wachua de kodo orwe. Koro bende. Walungu koro no iko la ika. Koro manu wasiti iko lose. Koro iko mana kuwa ni kukoro. Wadwe bichiro. Kiwari okusa migulu loka liet cha. Tiz echua koya di mora maber. Koro sa migulu loka liet no. Echua dego echua dego. Each one they go on the bed, my bear. Okay, let me kill them. Come on, pull go, pull go. Then you walk by your corridor and the mark. To watch you walk. Koro kwa se chwa komo jie nyo my bear mo chiek my bear. Oka gulo se chiek tuwa gole kendo tuwa kire. Koro kwa se kire. O kwa se kiro gite mu ati ko tuwa ni yomu wok my bear wadi go chiri. Makua get when you are not a week after you get to Chemoco. Pin tech, Tigomboni Mondi, you dig Mori di Guchiro, each one or Moco. Yakangi Catre, Sechemoco, Cunio Camarach, Kitang and Catacuyo Tint of Kung, eh? Samoroki di Moroba, Gioke Nano. Amum with two Mano Catara Catacomedia could young Mano Cataca gain on the building. Coro Catrox to Sechemoco Catre. Eno alamo ki go kwa ma kai manya sayo mi ne me ka idi go chiro. Ko to make tre go to tin, se je mo ko to make tre go ngeny mi duogi luti no no go ruwe yu de ka ne yot. Junior room mi duogi paro paro ma chielo. Ka to ruwa ko ndo ano ni ke logi kuyo ma tin, ki di moro mo ba yo wangi. Sa moro lum tin o ko wo kuma be sa moro yeni ke to ma tin. Se je mo ko it pomo mi yin ki yen to yeni ngo mo mo ko tuo ma be, yeni ngo ma ma tuo na ko romo ko rogi numu. Koro ke de wango golo iwe ni lo chiek yene de do mana kuriere wango wango re kamaka to lo kamani ke de lo ko chiek 
Mazem be me kelo ke ate woke gi. Mati nya chwa ke omena. Eno lo se ne gige na.